Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwander and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Byron Matthews. He's the CEO of MHI Global. Welcome, Byron. Hey, thank you, Gerhard. I appreciate it. So you're sitting uh, in the catbird seat. Uh, you're on the top of the food chain of the sales training industry. So you must have a pretty good idea as to what are the challenges that sellers face today with the buyers that have totally changed. Buyers are expecting more value. It's not good enough just to show up and, and ask great questions and try to understand your customer needs, but you really have to add value in the sales process. Things like helping them navigate the buying process, giving them value so that they can meet their personal and business wins throughout the process. I think it's not just about the value, but also uh, they need to be the providers of insight. That's a skill in itself. I mean, you know, one of the things we're seeing, kind of one of the macro trends, is more generalists are leaving the market. There are more specialists now in sales roles than generalist roles. Our clients are continuously coming to us saying we've moved away from general account manager jobs, client management jobs, and moving into specialist jobs. And that's really to address this concern of adding value. In order to add value, you have to be an expert, an expert in your client, and an expert in what you sell. And that really does take a specialist. So what are the mistakes that you are seeing that companies are making today that uh, need to be corrected? A lot of companies are getting away from the fundamentals. You know, they've tried to innovate their way around some of these basic challenges of the rising expectation of buyers. Trying sales strategies and processes like coming in and really educating your client or challenging your client. The fundamentals of being a student and being an expert in your customer and truly understanding their needs are fundamentals that have been around for 40 years. So what do you see the top three priorities that companies should be thinking about? Pipeline management and funnel, and, and funnel management isn't necessarily a sales leader job. It's a responsibility of all sales professionals. And so we're helping sales leaders really instill the, 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 the principles and the discipline around managing a funnel, not educating sales leaders, but educating frontline salespeople so that they have the science to look at their own pipeline and understand shapes and concentration risks and velocity and really instilling that education and that, and that knowledge in them and getting our sales leader to support that. That's actually causing a huge amount of um, increased performance related to CRM adoption because now sales professionals want to use the sales pipeline. They understand the value not because they're getting asked for a forecast, but because they want to diagnose their own sales pipeline and their own issues with the shapes and velocities and so on. So working with sales leaders to get them to push that content and that knowledge down is number one. Number two is, uh, I would say, conscious collaboration. One of the things in our, in our research shows there are more buyers in the buying process now than there, than there has been over the last five years. So that requires more collaboration in leveraging your own assets, your own people in your organization. So sales leaders encouraging collaboration is a really, really big point. And the third, I would argue, is if the client buys our service, what value will be delivered to them? And if the sales professional cannot articulate that value, it's a no-go. They have to go back and understand that before they, it, it gets into the pipeline. Well, thank you, Byron, for sharing your insights. Um, I think that was very informative and uh, we are very happy to hear that uh, uh, MHI Global is uh, um, under your leadership today and uh, we expect great things from you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time.